In this video, we shall meet the newton raphson method for solving an equation of the form f of x equals naught. You have already seen the interval bisection method and the linear interpolation method. I think that this method is the best of all three. Suppose we have some curve, y equals f of x, and that it meets the axis at some unknown point x equals alpha. In order to find the value of x equals alpha, the newton raphson method starts with an approximation somewhere near x equals alpha. Let's suppose we start with x naught, and then it takes the tangent at the point p. So if p is the point x naught, and if the equation is y equals f of x, f of x naught. If we draw the tangent at p, where that meets the x-axis will, in general, be an improved estimate of the value of alpha. Here's one I did earlier. In this, we can see that we have the value x0, some initial value which we choose. At the point p, this will be x0, f of x0 and the tangent at p meets the x-axis at n and gives us an improved estimate of the value of alpha. We're going to look at this by looking at gradients. Since the equation of the curve is y equals f of x, the length of pm will be f of x naught. So now let's look at the gradient of the tangent at P. The gradient at P is equal to F dashed X naught. And this will be the vertical, which is PM, divided by the horizontal, which is NM. That gives us that F dashed x naught is equal to pm, which is f of x naught, divided by x naught minus x1. If we divide both sides by f dashed of x naught, at the same time multiplying by x naught, minus x1, we have that, and if we solve that for x1, we get x1 is x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dashed of x0. We can repeat this many times, and provided that our first approximation is sensible, you can see that we will start with x naught, take the tangent where x is x naught, my next approximation is x1, take the tangent at the point where x is x1, where that meets the x-axis with my next approximation x2, and you can see that in this case we're just going to get closer and closer and closer to the point alpha. We can summarize all this with the iteration xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn divided by f dashed of xn. Okay, let's illustrate this with an example. Suppose we want to solve the cubic equation x cubed minus x minus 1 equals 0. Starting with x0 equals 2, use the newton raphson method to find the next four approximations, x1, x2, x3, and x4, giving each answer to three decimal places. Then show that a root of the equation is 1.325 to three decimal places. Now let's have a look at the solution. 
Newton Raphson tells us that x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x n divided by f dashed of x n. And we're starting with x naught is 2. So f of x is x cubed minus x minus 1. That means that f dashed of x will be 3x squared minus 1. To find x1, starting with x0 equals 2, x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 over f dashed of x0, which is 2 minus, and then on the top we've got 2 cubed minus 2 minus 1, and on the bottom, we've got 3 times 2 squared minus 1. That gives us 1.5454 going on forever. In an exam, you must show the numbers in the first approximation. If you've entered this correctly on your calculator using the answer button, now you can just keep pressing the answer button and you will get that x2 is equal to 1.3596149, which if we're going to give three decimal places is 1.360. And we do need the zero. x3 is equal to 1.3258013 dot 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 and that is 1.326 to three decimal places and x4 is equal to 1.324714 dot 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 and that is 1.325 to three decimal places. We were also asked to show that the root of the equation is 1.325 to three decimal places. So we have to look at, first of all, f of 1.3245. Pressing the buttons on our calculator, we get minus 0 0.0009299. We look at 1.3255. Pressing the buttons on our calculator, we get plus 0 0.00337. Three three so we have a change of sign. We have a continuous function therefore there is a root in the interval 1.3245 1.3255 and because we chose the interval in the way that we did this means that the root is 1.3252 to three decimal places. As I said, this is a very good technique. Sometimes some care is needed in finding the first approximation x naught, but you will find that out for yourselves with some of the examples later. You can find all this, the newton raphson theory, In your textbook, textbook FP1 on pages 38 to 39.